This is Sky News with Stephen Dixon. Very good morning. More rain is on the way, threatening to hit parts of the country already struggling with the floods. Anyone heading home for Christmas is being warned to expect some pretty bad travel disruption. Well, the five areas most at risk are all in the southwest, with 80 millimetres of rain falling in Cornwall overnight. One severe flood warning remains in place there. That's for the River Cobra at Helston. But the number of flood warnings across England and Wales has decreased in the last hour. That's the good news. It's currently standing at 139, down from 145 earlier this morning, then 142. So it is at least improving a little bit. In Scotland, though, there are a further 23 flood warnings that are in place after lots of heavy overnight rain. Liz Lane reports. Scenes like this have been causing misery for thousands of people across Britain. Now with more rain forecast on one of the busiest travel days of the year, the scale of the disruption is set to get much worse. Properties have been flooded since the middle of last week. Hello, folks. It's uh, people at <laughs> obviously risk of it. raining the again agency says here the in England. Protected There's my background. There's a sample. In Cornwall. One of the great either. Counter Pro. Anyway, the time now is 01:2200 hours on the 21st of November. And we've been able so to let's have a little look at what we've got here, eh? So they've been able to take effective action in many cases. The knock-on effect of days of travel chaos is going to be felt by many oh. more people. Oh. 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 Okay. Are open, to be there you go. Normal. All making for um, I say this every time, but 680 would be 20 yeah. times. So it's gone 20 oh. times. Oh. And That's road. obvious. Uh, yeah, numerous roads uh, have been flooded, many of them in areas... There's a sample there. This is detecting alpha, beta and gamma and extra radiation, if any. Detecting some shit, whatever. This was um, an approximate one square metre swipe from a neighbour's car. A dirty car, actually. I've taken that from another car. Which and, uh, produced in Berkshire, slightly less. So, well. but uh, I could tell from the car that I swiped um, there that had been cleaned. It doesn't look clean. But it had um, obviously somebody gone through a car wash and had a wax because the rainwater was just running straight off it and I got less radiation off it. Um, so, I looked for a car <laughs> that. Probably had been washed, and this is what we get. This is going to be a quick video because I haven't got much time left on my mobile phone. I'll let my memory cards quite fill up. So we're around um, 40 times, I guess. 39, 38 times, I don't know. And all this days before Christmas. I'm not going to do no tests on this, half ice, half ice samples, uh, pull up tests. Anyway, seems to have stabilised around 1,267 cpm, so folks that those who live here can only really watch and wait yeah. with the few defences they have. I'm just here open my mate. They're going to take his carpet right now in case it goes up at the bar. Okay, we need to wait 30 seconds, as I always say. It's the way the uh, inspector EXP works. 
the Cornish Fire Service was first to second rolling damage counts, updated every three seconds, needs 30 seconds of data, and the sheer number of incidents that have occurred in the Cornish Fire Service since 1993, the sheer number of incidents that have occurred in the Cornish Fire Service since 1993, the sheer number of incidents that have occurred in the Cornish Fire Service since 1993, the sheer number of incidents that have occurred in the Cornish Fire Service since 1993, the sheer number of incidents that have occurred in the Cornish Fire Service since 1993, the sheer number of incidents that and for those who don't know, that my average background is 0 0.07 to 0 0.1 microcubits per hour. So there we go. Um, oh, I need to add that I'm looking at some figures here to my left. The 18,500 hours today, sorry, yesterday, on the 20th of November, um, I only got 107.9 CPM from a 10 minute average count. Now, this isn't, a, I'm not counting this, this is not, a, this is live and direct. Um, I'm pretty sure it would be, it, it would be a bit, bit, bit lower, obviously, but by the by, by the by, it doesn't really matter. Fact is, it seems over the last few days that during the daytime and early evenings, the counts, even though it's been raining constantly here for the last few days, the, the um, fallout has been quite low. And then as soon as we get to around midnight, bang, high fallout. Why is that? What is the cause of after midnight? Bang. Four microsieverts per hour. I don't know. Well, I can guess why. And I know it's where the weather's coming from. Anyway, this is a short video from, from me, Papa Beeps. And I hope you all stay safe and sound. And um, that's all we've got to say, really. Bye.